Hi guys, this is Doug Miller from the Graphics Loft. I'm here in Dallastown, Pennsylvania, and I'm just trying to give you an idea of uh, what it takes to be a screen printer. Um, so I guess I'll start off telling you kind of how I got involved in it. Uh, actually, when I was younger, I really enjoyed cartoons like Disney and Warner Brothers. And actually, as I got older, I went to school to do cartoon animation to do the same thing. Um, but after a couple of years, I got into some other uh, types of work, and I always wanted to get back into art. So I thought, how am I going to get? How can I do that? And how can I be um, support myself and support my family? So, kind of went back to my roots in high school with uh, industrial arts and with the uh, art program that we had then, and we did screen printing, and I always seemed to like that. So, uh, at one point in time, I went to an auction. I bought a lot of uh, products and a lot of equipment. I started uh, really at the ground roots with it. So, but now it's kind of a little bit bigger. So here we are in my production area. And if we kind of just go around the room a little bit, um, we have like a, a cleaning, washing area. We have uh, a decent amount of inks that we use in the screen printing process. Probably the most important thing is the actual screen. So here's a rack with different types of screens on here. And this is where we actually put what we call a uh, stencil, which is kind of what you think a stencil would be, but it's actually a coating on there. And then we shoot with a transparency, which I have in my exposure unit that actually gets shot onto the screen and that's how we actually make the stencils so that we can print this onto a t-shirt. So we also have just a drawing cabinet. I said this was, here's our exposure unit. So I'm going to jump over here a little bit more towards the production. Uh, to my left right here is our inline dryer. This has a belt that rotates around that we put the shirts on this end and when they come through the drying unit. Uh, it's basically just a heat generating unit. It fuses the ink to the shirts. Doesn't have any adhesive properties. It actually gets into the, the the fibers of the shirt and that fuses at a certain temperature and that's how the bond is made onto the t-shirts. So then over here we have our actual press. It's an eight color press and uh, these are the platens where the shirts get put onto them. And then this is where the screens come down, the ink's loaded on there, and it's pressed through the stencil. Sh shirt comes off and we put it onto the dryer here like this. And that's basically the production aspect of it. There's a few other things, but we don't have time permitting to do that. The actual art area I have up on another floor, and that's where we do, we have the computers, we do the design work, we make those transparencies and things like that for pre-production. So have a little cheat sheet here. Uh, I have a question here. What are the five things that people need to be a screen printer? Um, one thing I have on here is having artistic ability really helps. Um, it's not absolutely necessary. That's something that you can develop as you go along, but it definitely helps when you're making, designing the artwork and stuff like that. But there are places that you can buy clip art and kind of kind of helps you get through that process if you're not really inclined artistically. Uh, the second thing I think probably two that you put together is being able to have good communication skills and to be able to follow directions and to be able to document your work. Um, like a lot of the paperwork that I have here for a job, there's a lot of documentation on here. It's very important, whatever the customer wants, we have it written down and it's precise information. And also I can come back to it later because a lot of times we do reorders many times. So we have to make sure everything's consistent through that. So that that's a big thing there. Um, let's see, de being detail oriented. Again, it really depends on the person, but be able to mix inks um, and, and really follow registration and do things like that makes a big difference as, as for the end product that you're having for the customer. Um, I'd, I'd say that like the biggest thing really is just like any job, having a positive attitude and really working hard, coming to work every day. Um, because it can be physically taxing being on a press all day, but um, you know if you work hard at it and you just stick to it and you have a good attitude um, and you develop your business and, and, and create more customers, it's really going to be enjoyable for you to be an entrepreneur. And that's basically the biggest thing, any job that you want to do, maybe where you're not working for somebody else, but just for yourself is, is to have that positive attitude, be outgoing with people, listen to what people say. And I think you'll be, um, you know, you'll do really well with what you want to do with whatever type of uh, vocation you want to do in life. So that's pretty much what I have from here. Um, hope you guys have a good day and I hope you learned a little bit something about screen printing. All right, take care.